Here are the 10 things that you must eat on your visit to Okinawa. Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabi Eats. If you guys didn't know already, we were in Okinawa last month for about a week and we had such a blast. Personally, I traveled to eat and Okinawa did not disappoint. Okinawa is a great place for a foodie like myself because the food there is completely different from what you find in the mainland. Of course, you'll find familiar things like sushi for example, but there are many things that are uniquely Okinawan. If this is your first time and you like food and travel, please subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. So here is our top 10 list of things that you must eat in Okinawa. So let's start with Goya Champuru, possibly the most iconic Okinawan dish ever. This is a simple and rustic stir-fried dish made with Goya, which is bitter melon, tofu, and either pork belly or spam. Now even if you're not a fan of bitter melon, we recommend that you try this dish. I myself used to despise bitter melon and this was the only way that I could eat it. You'll find this dish everywhere in Okinawa and is a must-eat item for sure. Next on the list is Okinawan Soba. If you're in Okinawa and you have a choice between ramen and Okinawan Soba, definitely choose the Okinawan Soba. There is nothing better than yummy chewy noodles in a delicious light broth. Okinawan soba is usually topped with some fish cake, green onions, some kind of pork, and red pickle ginger. It's not as heavy as ramen, but just as satisfying. We could probably eat a bowl even if we weren't that hungry. Number three is something called umi budo or sea grapes. Some people call this the caviar of the sea. Umi budo is a type of seaweed and has a nice light briny taste, reminiscent of the ocean. They're usually eaten with a ponzu sauce and it's so good. I personally prefer it over caviar because number one, it's way cheaper and number two, it's a lot more nutritious. And the texture is so much fun. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it goes like pop, pop, pop. Next is a type of tofu called jimami tofu. It's different in taste as well as texture from your typical tofu. The texture is springy and it's slightly sweet. The reason why it tastes different is because typical tofu is made from soybeans, but jimami tofu is made by mixing peanuts and potato starch. It's quite different from the tofu that we're used to eating, but we love it. It's much richer in taste and Sato, she says, it goes so well with beer. Next on the list is something called lafute. Lafute is a simmered pork dish made with three of Okinawa's favorite things, pork, black sugar, and aomori liquor. Cooking pork belly for hours over a slow simmer makes the meat gelatinous and melt in your mouth tender, including the fat. In fact, cooked this way, the fat is the best part. Next is sata andagi, and it's one of my most favorite things in the world. Oh my god, they are so good, especially when eaten fresh from the fryer. They are Okinawa's answer to the donut, but they're much simpler and not as sweet, which makes them so easy to eat, and it is hard to stop eating them. You'll find these all over Okinawa, so it's fun to try them from different shops to find which one you like best. I love them so much. Next on the list is something that I actually stayed away from for the longest time, simply because it didn't appeal to me. It's basically Tex-Mex taco filling on top of rice. Now I know what Tex-Mex tacos taste like, and although I don't hate them, I wasn't a huge fan. For some reason, when the fillings are mounted on top of hot Japanese rice, it becomes a completely different dish. This has now become one of my favorite dishes to eat here in Japan, especially the one you can get at King Taco. Tropical fruits are abundant in Okinawa, so if you like things like mango, papaya, and dragon fruit, you'll be in fruit heaven. The papayas are bigger here than in Hawaii, and mangoes are amazingly sweet. My favorite though has to be the red flesh dragon fruit, which is probably the sweetest I've ever had. Now the only person I wouldn't recommend tropical fruits to is perhaps Lawrence. Next on the list is what I eat on a daily basis on any trip to Okinawa. I'm not even kidding. This is the famous ice cream from Blue Seal. This American company started out as Foremost but changed their name to Blue Seal and it became one of the most popular ice cream brands in Okinawa and is now my favorite ice cream in all of Japan. I especially like it because of the Okinawan flavors such as ube, Okinawan brown sugar, and Okinawan salted cookie. Now that last one with the cookie is by far my favorite so if you happen to see Blue Seal ice cream on your trip to Japan, definitely try it out. Now I saved this one for last because we'll always have to end with dessert. 
This is probably the most popular Okinawan souvenir to take back with you. And I just cannot get enough of them. These are called Chinsuko and it's a traditional Okinawan cookie with a texture that's similar to shortbread cookies. However, I think they taste even better because they use lard instead of butter. If you go to Okinawa and if you don't try these cookies, it's practically a sin. I'm not even joking. It's a sin. So that's my top 10 list of must-eat items in Okinawa. My suggestion is to try whatever appeals to you, but make sure you eat everything on this list. I mean everything. I insist. Hope you learned something about the unique offerings in Okinawa. We cannot wait to go back. If there was something that we missed, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on our next video. Bye bye.